This is intro to Shop Talk episode two. That front element is nasty. Just one sec. Okay, that's better. So just like in our past shop talk episodes on Orion, how I was able to mount a power and ground bus bar system for the house battery and the start battery systems with circuit breakers to be able to disconnect them, I'm gonna do the same here. So if you guys haven't seen those, check out those shop talks. But in today's shop talk, I'm gonna be working on basically laying out the entire foundation of the electrical before I start adding other things to it. But first, I'm gonna show you guys my idea. I'm gonna utilize the space above the battery where the bottle jack used to be, which we don't need anymore, to hopefully have a nice little area to mount a circuit breaker disconnect and also power and ground and a fuse box. So now I'm using the factory bottle jack bracket and cardboard to lay out a template so I'm gonna use the factory mounting points that the bottle jack mounted to. The cardboard allows me to rough out a design before I cut it out. I am pretty happy with my bracket for the power distribution panel, I guess I'll call it. I'm gonna trace it onto my actual bracket material and then cut it out. Test fit it, see how it fits. Hopefully it fits right in there. We're just gonna go with the factory battery for right now. Once we start adding more loads, we're gonna upgrade the battery, but yeah, let's get it traced out, cut out, and see if we can get it mounted in the Sequoia. Alrighty guys, I'm ready to put the battery back in. I have everything kind of pre-wired. I left the major cable runs for the winch and the rear Anderson just unconnected right now. But everything else, this fuse box, the power bus bars, and then the wiring up to the front fuse box is all hooked up. So now we just put the battery back in and it's pretty much done until we're ready to hook up some more accessories. What's going on, Clay? It is Monday morning. Our windows have been tilted, tinted, and we no longer need to. <laughs> Sorry, I'll start over. We have to get the Sequoia, which does not have a name yet, over to SES. They've been printing all weekend to get this wrap ready. It's gotta be done in the next pretty much two days before it's gotta go down to Idaho Falls to get all the armor and stuff. Put on. But there's only eight days before this has to go to SEMA, so 
Every day counts, every minute counts. We gotta go. I have a name for this truck, by the way. You do have a name for it? Yeah, we I had to name it last night for SEMA. Oh, so what's the name? The, the name shall be, oh yeah, Simba. Really? Yeah. Which is funny because you think, <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a uh, character from Disney movie, right? Yeah. But Simba is Swahili for lion. This is, so it means lion and strength. That's what you're naming this one? Simba, yeah. Hey guys, today and the rest of the week is gonna be crazy. We are gonna be headed down to CBI because we have them with all of the prototype, front bumper, rear bumper, side steps, armor, the roof rack, the works. Down there, we figured out with all of our planning and trying to figure out the moving parts, that it's gonna be faster and easier for us just to drive to them and we're gonna install everything down there versus them shipping it all to us and then we're trying to figure it out here for the first time. So they've already been working behind the scenes developing the front bumper, rear bumper and all that stuff. So now we're gonna drive our Sequoia there to get the first iterations of those bumpers installed on it. And then we're gonna be coming back here because by Friday we need to have all the media for SEMA shot on that truck so it's just been a whirlwind of trying to figure out how these pieces line up and with potentially bad weather in the weekend coming in and all the media being due by the weekend, basically for SEMA, for Toyota, we have a lot happening. So that's where we're at. Well, good morning. We are in Idaho Falls at CBI, which stands for Can't Break It, if you didn't know that. And uh, we are here with the, the dream team. These guys made it all happen, Josh and Benny, and a bunch of other guys too. But these are the guys that have made all the Sequoia parts on time for today's build. We came down to get it all assembled here because they've done two of them already, in theory. And then get this done today, hopefully, and then drive it all the way back to Bozeman to get it photographed and done it for SEMA show next week. Right now we got the 2023 Sequoia bumper. Hot off the well table and it's off to go get powder coated.
Feels good, guys. Yeah. Looks good. It looks amazing. Yeah. Now we just got to go to Bozeman as fast as we can, which is three and a half hours from here. Hopefully put a rooftop tent on that has arrived from South Africa and photograph it tonight before it snows tomorrow. So, cameraman, get in. <laughs> right on. See you guys. Love you, mean it. I'll still send you cheesy gifts. All right. See you guys. Welcome back to the hangar guys. We got in late last night from CBI, got a ton done, very productive day. But now we are back here because today this is getting loaded onto a truck to go to the SEMA Auto Show to be featured in the Toyota booth, which is really exciting for us. We're all gonna be down there. We'll bring you guys along on the next episode to show you what the inside of the SEMA Auto Show looks like. And then when we get back, we're gonna be continuing the build because a lot of this was just thrown on very quickly to make it for the show. Then we're gonna come back, finish the install, and just keep building on the new Sequoia. Thanks for joining us. We'll see ya. So we're expecting a call from the trucks that are picking up our trucks for SEMA anytime. But we got our tent, so we're gonna put it on there and delay the truck drivers if we need to. The other truck is literally supposed to be here within 30 minutes. I don't get it. How does this happen? I mean in a good way, like that it actually showed up. Yeah. Engage okay. maximum effort. Let's hear it. I'll start uh, opening it. You got it? Okay. My knife, though. Here, I just sharpened mine. That's all right. This, this makes more dull. No. Couldn't have cut that any tighter. We were waiting on the rooftop tent from Alley Cab. It got delayed a little bit in shipping. The trucks are literally waiting for us to load this to go to SEMA. And then the tent showed up right when we got the call from the driver of the other semi that we're loading this on. So we're literally delaying him as we're bolting the tent down on the roof of this. And now we're driving to where we're loading. He has a big truck, so we couldn't load it in the driveway at the hangar. So now we're driving over here to load this Sequoia with the tent that just, just got bolted down. Couldn't have cut that any tighter though. Whew. I'll go flip around. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, that is a beautiful sight to see that. That truck was built in like record time again. And the one behind it was also built in record time. Three and a half, three weeks. Yeah. Came down to the very minute. Yeah. And now we can say it's going to the SEMA Auto Show, looking the way we wanted it, the way we yep. dreamed it would look. You know, still got a lot to do. Yeah. But like it's. It's all there as a whole. Now we just got to make everything work on it. Yeah. But I, yeah, I can't believe how close down to the wire it came with that tent. I was it like, doesn't get any tighter. Though. Yeah, it's so nice to have the tent on it yeah. to go to the show. <laughs> and uh, we got some cool emails in today 
finding out that there's some neat stuff coming through SEMA that'll end up on this show or on this truck. And uh, so we're excited to go see that and we'll show you that one on the next one. But until then, we'll see you next time at the SEMA Auto Show. At SEMA. At SEMA. Or at SEMA. It's probably a SEMA. Yeah. Well, anyway, see. We'll see so you I'll have on the tape next measure in my pocket from putting the tent on.